Hi, I'm Maya, a software engineer on the Telegraph team at Influx Data. And I'm Nathaniel, manager of the Flux team, also at Influx Data. And today we're going to talk about geotemporal data. Yeah, and today's part one in a three part mini series on geotemporal data. So, what is geotemporal data? Yeah, so as the name implies, geotemporal data is both the location data as well as the time data. And so, when you connect those together, you get geotemporal data. So, meaning we know both where something is and when it was at that location. And what does this data look like? Yeah, typically we put it out in a table like this, and you would get latitude data and longitude data. And we use lat and long as abbreviations for those. Why does the time element matter? Yeah, so the time element allows us to correlate both our location data with other data that may be important to us uh, in the geotemporal space. So let's say that this data here, as our little trail, is of a runner running a 5K race. And they want to understand and improve the races going forward, and so they've loaded their geotemporal data into some application, and it came with it the heart rate data, so of their heart rate along the race as well. And perhaps as they were in this part of the race, there's a large climb that was harder to do, and they kicked toward the finish that um, to helped them to win the race or beat out a competitor. And so we can see that we have our heart rate data along with our location data and our time data. And so by having the time element allows us to connect all these bits of data together to look at the the race in its whole picture and then understand it and make decisions about what to do in the future. That's so cool. How would we store this data in InfluxDB? So we can start with this table that we have here and then we naturally have the time component and then our, our latitude and longitude and you'd want these to be fields and then you'd use your heart rate or any other data that you may have as a field as well. But then you may need some tags in order to keep this track separate from future tracks. So this is one race, and so we're going to give it a race ID of 42, but you may have past races or future races, and we want to keep those separate. So you'd use a tag for that. And how would we visualize this data? Yeah. So to visualize this data, you're going to need some kind of software application. Uh, in InfluxDB Cloud, we have Mapbox that allow you to draw out these tracks on a map. And so you would use Flux. You'd query this data back out of a bucket. Um, you'd want to specify that you got both your latitude and your longitude fields, and potentially your heart rate data and then pull that data back out, hand it off to the Mapbox visualizer in the, the UI, and then it would be able to draw a track similar to this. I didn't know we could pair location and time data together. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. For more information, check out our documentation, and we can't wait to see what you build.